Good afternoon and happy Valentine's Day. I'm Mariah Hill and this is Gotham Sound TV. Today we're going to take a look at Zoom's new control surface, the F control. Um, and if you have any questions throughout the show today, go ahead and send them in and we'll answer them at the end of the stream. So let's go ahead and open this up. So inside the box, we have our F control. We have four AA batteries. And hidden away, we also have a stereo cable and a USB cable. So for time's sake, we already pulled out some cables. And let's go ahead and pull out our F control. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is how small and lightweight this is. It's about two pounds, and it's very thin. Um, and to power this, we have a couple different options. You can do four AA batteries. It's about 16 hours with lithium uh, and about eight hours So if you are using alkaline. You can also plug in with your F4. Your F8 can't do this, um, so that can power it. And you can also power through uh, Hiroshi, right up here, uh, with a BDS or a AC adapter. So let's go ahead and connect to our F8. First, we're going to go ahead and connect our stereo cable. And this is going to allow you to monitor the audio through the headphone jack of your F control. So we have our connector right here. And we're going to connect through the headphone jack of the F8. And here we have our USB cable. And that's going to connect right here to F series. And that allows you to uh, have the data from the F8 flow through the F control. Okay. And two other connectors we also have on here are the keyboard. That will allow you to uh, write any notes you might need or any metadata, and our Hiroshi connector. So let's go ahead and power up and get connected. So your first time connecting your F8 to your F control, you're going to have to connect through uh, your F8 itself. Let's go ahead and do that. And it's died on us. So we're going to need to re put new batteries in. <laughs> So uh, let's take a look at the rest of the F control while we're waiting for getting new batteries. So we have a couple different things. We have our eight faders and our master. We have our transport keys and we have our shortcut keys. Let's take a look at the user ones. We have one, two, three users. And when we get set up, I'm going to show you how to set those yourself. We also have scene increment, scene name, note, track name, false take, and time code. Now, um, we're also going to take a look at our trim and pan. And the button allows you to interact between the two. You can go ahead if you have your pan set. And you can decide whether you want centered, if you want your things panned to the left or to the right. And if you're in trim, that allows you to raise or lower your gain. Um, that can allow you to do that on the fly. Or you can do that um, later on. Um, just a couple more things you just might want to uh, take note of while you're connecting. If you're connected to your F control to your F8, you're not going to be able to use your F control app. Um, you can only use one or the other. Uh, as well as if you're connected to your F control um, to your F8, you're not going to be able to also connect to the computer. All right. Let's go ahead and connect back up. Once again, you connect the stereo to your headphone jack to be able to monitor the audio through the headphone jack of your F control. And you're going to connect the USB from the back of your F control, it says to F series right here, to the side of your F8. All right, so the first time connecting your F8 to your F control, you're going to want to connect through the F8 itself. You're going to go to your menu, and you're going to scroll all the way down to USB. And at the bottom, you're going to see FRC8. That is your F control. Go ahead and select that. 
and you want to go ahead and connect. And then you're going to see your F control light up, and that shows you that the two are connected. So let's go ahead and take a look um, at our functions now that the two are connected. We will have our eight tracks and our master. Um, we have our transport and our shortcut keys. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to set the user keys um, since we've looked at them a little bit earlier. So you're going to go back into your F8. And we're going to go through your menu. And once again, through your USB. Uh, FRC8 once again. And underneath disconnect, you're going to see user key. You're going to go ahead and select that. You're going to see three different options, user one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and select user one. And you're given a lot of different presets. You have slate mic, slate tone, mark, set trim link, hold, clear kit indicator, and what we're set for, circled. And you're going to go to menu to go ahead and select out. So depending on what kind of production you're on, what post might need, you can set that however you may need. Um, another thing we want to take a look at, now that everything's connected, is our pan and trim. Let's go ahead and set into our pan. And in most cases, you want all your pots centered. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and go into your trim. Let's go ahead and get a mic set up so you can take a look at this a little bit better. All right. So we have our mic set in. And right now we're not getting any levels, so let's go ahead and turn up the gain. And now we're seeing we're getting a little bit more. Let's get it set to where we like it. All right, that looks about good. Let's go ahead and take that. So say in the field, you have to switch between your pan and trim. Um, you have all your levels set for your trim, and you have to switch back to pan. And say you had to pan all the way to the left. And when you switched back to your trim, because you want to adjust your levels again, you note that uh, nothing has been affected until you have to actually touch the pot itself. And then you look, you lost all your levels. So you got to really get it back quickly to be able to get back to where you wanted it uh, before. So let's now also take a look at our transport keys. Um, what's really great is you can uh, work between both the F8 and the F control when wanting to record. So let's say we wanted to record um, starting from our F control. We go ahead and hit the record button. And you see the light enables in both the F control and the F8. Let's go ahead. You can move up and down your fader. And you're going to see this changes on your F8 right here as well. And say we want to go ahead and stop. And we can actually stop on our F8. And you're going to see it both stop on the F8 and the F control. Um, so one last thing, when you're using the two, once they're connected and you're ready to turn off, you can just turn off straight through the uh, F8. And it turns off both the F8 and the F control. So do we have any questions at this time about anything we've looked at? All right, great. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And remember, we have Build a Bag Workshop this weekend, this Saturday, uh, at our Gotham and Long Island City from 12 to 4. Bring in your bag. Uh, we have our service department in to make custom cables. Um, it's going to be a great time, lots of foods, lots of drinks. And if you're looking for videos on any other products you're interested in, video, visit our video archives at gothamsound.tv um, and follow us for all the latest news on maybe the F8 or F control on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have any ideas or questions, send them to info at gothamsound.com.